Hi everybody, Kirk from Tightline Films. So today I have to do something that I really wish I didn't have to do. I have to make a video showing how to fix something on a RED camera that failed, I believe because it was built incorrectly. And when I went to RED and emailed them to get help for with my situation and explained everything to them, they were of no help. Uh, they Well, no, that's not true, they were of help. Uh, they offered to send me the parts that I needed for $2.50 each for two screws at a cost of $30 plus $30 in shipping US. So it would have been $50 with the tag. By the time I got it here, 55 bucks for two screws. That doesn't make sense. But what makes me annoyed and what is my first world problem is the amount of money that this stuff costs. That's the service we get on a four month old product. Jared, you guys have been great before in very little things, but as soon as I actually needed something, when I wasn't giving you money, not impressed, buddy. Not impressed at all. I have all the email trails. I may put them in this video, I may not, but regardless. But anyway, I know you guys aren't in the business of giving away stuff for free or giving away everything. If, you're, if you gave everything for free to everybody that ever asked, well, you wouldn't exist. But one screw like this, come on, throw it in an envelope. $2.50, help me out. Okay, so here's the problem, long and short. On the top of the Gemini, there's a connection point there for when you're running your screen. Uh, if you're running one of the newer style screens, you can see it just plugs right in and thumbnail screws down into the helicoils, helicoils, what are they called? I don't have any screen, I opted to keep my old one. So I had to get what's called a Limo A adapter, this thing right here. Well, this plugs in on the top. It was also handy for me, it sits in there down into this spot and connects. It also can connect on the side. So that's why I was like, oh, this isn't the end of the world because I can, I do have to reconfigure this for different things. Well, the screws that come with this camera are, hang on one second, I'll have to put it in there. Okay, so there's, there's two of them in the screws that screw down in from here. One right there and there. So those two screws. As you can clearly see, I forget to my counter up here. As you can clearly see, there's no way that goes, that's a deep enough thread. Oh, we will be in the fire, not the day. Half a dozen or more threads down there. You need to use most of them or all of them. I mean, obviously you can't use all of them, but most of them. This is a product that is taken on and off a camera, not, not super frequently, but frequently enough that you cannot have three threads. It's gonna, it's gonna thread, especially if you have a hard heli, heli coil or whatever they're called threaded end on the camera and a soft screw. So now what I have to do to fix it, because I don't want to spend 30 bucks on two screws and it's not going to save myself to get one screw and I'm not going to order a whole bunch of screws. So what I did to solve my problem was I went to my local hardware store, who's never, they've never met me. And I said, Hey, you know, this is kind of what I'm looking for, but I need another option. And maybe if you've got a stainless steel screw that even if it has threaded all the way through, because as you can see here, I'll put it up against the red table. As you can see on the red screw, there's a blank, there's a threadless spot and on mine, it's all threaded. That's because these screws are designed to thread through and stay in so you don't lose them when you take this piece on and off. So clearly you're designed, it's designed to take that piece on and off. Interesting. And well, we know what happens when you do that. Cause this thing's been off and on maybe, maybe five, six times. Uh, I've been working on these cameras for a couple years now. I know how to not over tighten things and it just, it happened. So, I'm going to have to now, to make my Nemo adapter, this hole here, I'm going to have to drill it out just a tiny bit bigger so that I can put this through there and tighten it up into there. And this is my new screw. The new screw that the hardware store that's never met me gave me, unlike the company Red, who I've spent multiple thousands of dollars with, wanted to charge me for it. So let's do that right now.
Okay, so that is now threaded through. Put that back on. Put it down. So now we will have one mismatching screw, but nice and gentle. Yeah. And there we go, she's snug. Okay, so now onto this side here, we'll just give this one more little snug. We'll do a little more because it's in itself. And now, there we go. It's not pretty, it's fixed. Now our screen is secure again. We'll put these in our kit. We'll toss this in the old uh, jar bin here, or the uh, screw bin. And that's it. Unfortunately, I really wish that this hadn't been the case. I wish it had been nicer, but you know what? Now, actually, no, I don't. Because that's a way better repair because that, that is an actual correct size screw. So Red, if you're watching, change it up to go from whatever millimeters that was. I don't know if it's, I think it's 12 millimeter to a 14 millimeter, at least a 14 millimeter. Okay. Anyway, it's Kirk from Techline Films. It's our service at the bench. Um, Oh, and that uh, hardware store that didn't know me that I got the screws from, uh, I'd like to give a big shout out to Dunbar Lumber in Ladner, BC. Thanks a lot, guys. You saved the day. Right on.